Okay, so in this problem, we're going to integrate uh, this. <laughs> All right, so how do you do this? Well, I have an idea. So recall that if you integrate, uh, you have dx over the square root of a squared minus x squared. That's equal to the arc sine of x over a plus c. So that's the formula we're going to use here. So how do you know to do that? Well, you see the funny square root, that's a problem. And you see a number, which is the square of 10. Right? 10 squared is 100. That, that's, that's our a squared, so a is 10 here. And you see this tangent being squared here, that's kind of like your x squared, okay? So you start by making a u substitution. So in this problem, we'll start by letting u be equal to tan x. Chalk is typical, okay? And um, so then du, the derivative of tan is conveniently uh, secant squared. So secant squared x dx. Okay. And so now we're ready to make a substitution, right? So, so our du is right here. Right? That, that's our du, that right there. So it's going to be the integral of du over, and then square root, 100, that's 10 squared, right? So 10 squared. Minus and then u squared because u is 10x. Beautiful stuff. And I just use the formula, right? Just use the formula. So it's going to be arc sine. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Arc sine x, well, that's u, so it's u over a. And a here was 10, right? So you get 10 plus c. And then so u was 10x, so we just get arc sine of u, which is 10x over 10. 10x over 10 plus our constant c. That's it. Hope that made sense.